I'm not a musician, I've never played in a band, but I've been harboring a collection of song ideas in my head and I wanted to bring these ideas to life and transform them into actual songs. Today is the 12th of May and I gave myself like a deadline to finish the whole song before the end of this month, which is probably not enough time. I can't really estimate how long it will take me because I've never done the whole process before and I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm an optimist, so let's see how this goes. But before we jump into the songwriting and recording, let me just show you quickly how I transformed this space from just an office into sort of a home studio. New day, a bit of a studio upgrade. I'm installing these uh, sound panels. Uh, I will be putting them on these walls and they should help me with early or first reflection. There you go. I just finished the installation of the panels. Uh, it was really easy, no drilling to the wall, nothing like that. Uh, I'm using Tessa power strips, so you just stick them on the wall. They have small hooks and they hold them nicely. So it's a good solution if you're like me, renting. Uh, yeah, very easy. Looks cool, I dig the look. It finally looks and feels like I'm in some kind of uh, studio, an actual studio. It's the last week of May and now I know that I won't be able to finish this song by the end of this month. I was too optimistic when I was setting the deadline for myself. There were some challenges on the way, but there were also two huge Eureka moments. Knowing your tempo and time signatures is crucial in order to write and record the song because if it's not set correctly in your DAW, then nothing will play along nicely. Uh, the metronome will be off, the MIDI drums will be off, and it will be just a mess. And it will be even harder to record other instruments. So it's, it's non-negotiable basically, but I was quite afraid of time signatures. It's not easy to tell which one is it, especially if it's some odd time signature. I would practice from time to time if I go to concert and I hear the whole band then I would just try to figure out the time signature in my head but 
if I'm trying to figure out the time signature for my own melody uh, or for the riff or something, then it's quite tricky because there are no other instruments, there are no drums, there are no rhythm guitars. And so there is not much to hold on to, but I believe I finally figured it out. There was like a eureka moment. Basically, long story short, I used a piece of paper and I transcribed the tabs of the melody that I want to record. I put it on the paper, I looked at it, I found sections that they seemed like they are repetition of the previous section or it's similar and there was like a clear division. It was kind of clear that, oh yeah, this is a new section. And this gave me four bars. After that, I would look at the notes, which one are the quarter notes, which one are the eighth notes, and I would count them. And this gave me the time signature. So, interestingly enough, the, the melody that I had in my head, the time signatures would be following. So it's 7, 8, 9, 8, 7, 8, 8, 8. And that would repeat itself a few times. So quite odd, not definitely not a traditional 4-4 four, four or even 6-8. So it was at the beginning very tricky, especially with the drums or metronome. But uh, once I figured it out and I set it in the door, in the logic, everything started to play nice along together. And yeah, so that was a huge progress, huge Eureka moment. Another issue ensued afterwards, and that was, uh, that were the drums. So I have the superior drummer, which is quite cool. I even bought a few grooves or groove packs uh, for a progressive metal. But uh, I naively hoped that I would be able to lay out the drums with these grooves for the whole song and yeah that, that's not going to happen especially if I have these odd time signatures it's not really doable to put them nicely together and basically the drums they should correspond to the guitar they should play with the guitar they should be written for the guitar and the chances of that happening especially if you have some odd time signatures, it's, it's just not going to happen. So I realized that I have to program my own drums and I was again quite afraid of that because I have no experience with drums. I, I have no idea how they are called, how each drum is called and symbols and everything. But I found this great tutorial on YouTube. It was about 20 minutes long. Everything was explained nicely, it was easy to follow and purely based on that video I was able to build a foundation of drums that I can build later on. I will put the link to that video in the description if you want to check it out. If you made it this far, this is the first episode of the series Track by Track where I document my music making process make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss the next episodes and thank you for watching.